Today, we will have an in-depth look at exactly what bread mold is, the different strains you can find, and what each looks like. We will even discuss the potential side effects of consuming each. Ready to get started? What is mold? It is a type of fungus. These fungus spores are everywhere. But, once they are exposed to favorable conditions, they multiply to such an extent that you can visibly see them. At this stage, we start referring to them as mold. These multicellular hyphae need three things to survive, oxygen, food sources, and warmth. By even only exposing them to one of these elements, they will rapidly multiply and consume the entire product. What is bread mold? Most molds are relatively harmless and may only cause slight side effects if any. But, what makes mold so extremely dangerous is that some strains are deadly and it is nearly impossible to tell them apart by eye. What does it look like? Black bread mold. It is the type of mold you often see on a slice of bread that has a fuzzy appearance. Despite the name, this mold isn't only black. You will often see shades of blue and green when the mold initially appears and then, turn completely black. Cladosporium bread mold. Cladosporium bread mold appears on the bread in dark green or black patches. This strain is much less fuzzy than the black mold we mentioned above. It also is accompanied by an extremely strong rotting smell. Penicillium bread mold. Penicillium bread mold is white, gray, or light blue. It also has a fuzzy texture, but the light color is what makes it very different from black mold. It is usually not dangerous when digested, but you should still avoid taking that risk. If this strain grew on the surface of fruits or vegetables, you could potentially simply wipe it off, but with bread, it isn't that easy. The spores are usually embedded into the bread and not only on the surface. Difference between the white stuff on bread and flour. To test which is which, scrape some white powder off of the bread surface. First, the flour will easily scrape away and fall on the surface as a powder. Mold will usually merge and become gooey. What happens if you eat moldy bread? Consuming bread with mold on it can cause an allergic reaction. This mostly depends on the strain consumed, the person's sensitivity, and the amount of mold consumed. As we have said, Cladosporium mold does tend to cause more severe reactions in people that are already prone to allergies. Storing bread to avoid mold. The best way to store bread is in a cool dark place. This will prevent humid environments, hot temperatures, and moisture from feeding the spores so that they can grow. Placing a loaf of bread in the fridge or freezer is also not a bad idea. But, the fridge won't completely keep the spores away. Tips and tricks. So, what does mold on bread look like? It depends entirely on the strain present on a specific loaf. But regardless, just avoid consuming any type of mold you see on bread. If you found this article insightful, we have a ton more on our website that will expand your food knowledge considerably. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.